Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and today we're doing a bit of a shorter build today. I made a dad for the Not So Berry Challenge, uh, the gray, uh, gray, uh, I think that's the sixth or fifth gen. Anyway, so uh, I was watching Kelsey and Peachy K, I hope I said her last name right, and she's on the gray gen and she was looking for a husband for her sim. So I made one, but then I thought, well, what if people want a place that they can live? And I put a two bedroom home here. And since she's also living in uh, this world, I figured I would build a home in this world as well. So, so it's a basic build. It's only two squares and one square I end up putting the kitchen and living room. It's a little step up where they can put their shoes and things like that. And then in the other half of the house, I have both of the bedrooms, a hallway and a bathroom with a separate room just for the toilet like they seem to have in this world. I personally have never been outside of Canada, so I don't really know how a lot of these homes are made. I can only go by Google Images or media and stuff like that. So uh, I loved this fencing that I put here, uh, kind of like a bamboo type of fence, which I thought was really pretty. And it's debug, so your sim should be able to just walk through it and not get stuck on it, thank goodness. But I put the shrine here and I kind of go a little mad with the decorating, with the, the, the debug plants. But a lot of these bushes from the, the snowy escape pack are really, really pretty. Especially like the huge green ones and even this huge tree on the left here with the little spikes on it. Uh, I don't know what it's called at the moment, but it's really pretty. And you could technically use these on base game and it would probably fit in really well and you wouldn't even notice that it was for a different world but i also go through some of the rocks and sizing them down just to see if i could put them somewhere but they're unfortunately just too big <laughs> to put on a, such a small lot especially when you can't like you can't even put much of a ba uh, backyard here unless you you want to go multiple floors straight up and just have really small rooms and, and of course you could probably uh, put some kind of yard here but i kind of just fill it up with with the pond and the swimming and things like that so the one <laughs> Because there's always one error when I go to upload the house because I get a little too like, hey, I finished and just upload it. So I put some swans in this pond, but I guess the pond is just too small. So they do kind of float outside of the pond. So if you do download this build, keep in mind of that and whether or not you want to keep them or not is totally up to you. But uh, anyway, I love the landscape of, of this. It's not my favorite build, but... I think it has enough and these little flowers here around the shrine I thought was so cute and I should have put them in more places and, and maybe just stuck with those kind of flowers but I, I couldn't pass it up uh, anyway so the outside I end up starting with a brown exterior and then I end up changing it because I just go for a tr like I try to use as much of the snowy escape pack as I can obviously when you go to download it you're going to see I I obviously use much more than the, the just the snowy escape pack but uh, I try to just uh, try to stick to the kind of look that, that that the snowy escape pack has sorry for my word stumbling and but I do go back and I change everything to gray because I at this point in my build I had completely forgotten <laughs> <laughs> that I was making a, just a gray build so I had to go back and change everything and, and yeah so at this point I'm trying to figure out okay how am I going to split this and I put some like cupboards down to see if is this what the room is going to like where am I going to put the, the the bathroom blah 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 I obviously ended up figuring it out, but it did take me a little bit of a time and I was thinking about these dividers. Maybe I could divide the room, but they were too small and it looks kind of funny. Anyway, uh, these counters from the Sco Snowy Escape Pack, I don't know how you guys feel about them because obviously you, could, you can use them as shelves and put little knickknacks and things like that in them, but honestly, I really hate them. And I don't know if it's just because uh, like when I use... 
uh, a sink in it. It just, you can't see any of the plumbing underneath because obviously it doesn't come with it uh, in, the, in those items or things like that. But I just find them to be really ugly. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe they just look too wooden. I don't know. I, I prefer stone and marble and that kind of thing on my countertop. So I guess I just couldn't compromise and only stick with, with just the one pack for that. But anyway, so I ended up changing a bit of the layout just for the bathroom. Kind of make it look like it's not just two separate uh, additions onto the house, which technically it could have been. It could have just had this little one area and then put the additional area as an add-on after, but whatever. So uh, the bathroom's actually pretty small. It's just, it's very simple. Just has a tub and a sink. And all this, the doors for Snow Escape 2, you can see through them, right? They have, the windows they have, you can't see through them at all. But the doors have all these little holes in them. And I thought that was really, really weird. And I'm hoping that maybe they can do an update to this pack to maybe include a door that doesn't isn't see-through or maybe some more windows that are to see that you would have the option especially for the medium size walls because for the small walls yeah, there are a couple that are see-through but there's nothing for big walls or and just the one window for the medium walls which I thought was a little unfortunate but whatever I suppose anyway so now we're sticking with we're tr trying to get the 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 living room and the the front rooms a bit more uncluttered and make it look a bit a little bit more lived in <coughs> try to decide what i want to do and then we end up doing the plum room so the plum room i thought was really cute i don't change any of the walls or anything i do put a bunch of flower lights around the the whole top of the other room there and but i want to make her a little bit more creative you know she's got some butterflies and this is assuming that you have a girl as a as for your plum generation Obviously, you could change it, but yeah, anyway, for the bathroom, I kind of like how I put those two doors with the knobs on the inside, so you could pull one open, and there's the bath, the, the toilet, and then you can open the other one, and there's the rest of the bathroom, which I thought was pretty cool. I also, in Snowy Escape, I do like the um, divider for the rooms, the little archway. Well, it's a huge archway, actually, but I thought it was pretty cool, and it would be kind of cool, too, if... Uh, maybe in the future packs or maybe in the future sims games that you can uh just open them or close them and then keep them that way if you want which i thought would be pretty cool maybe make some slider doors that just stay open and close and then people just walk right through uh, that would be pretty cool pretty awesome uh anyway we're finishing up here just putting some lighting in so i hope you like this build uh, let me know what you think and have a wonderful day guys bye